Welcome to a new Gitter tutorial and today we're gonna check out the Gitter solo of Rosanna by Toto played by Steve Lucas which is in my opinion a blueprint for a perfect Gitter solo in a rock or pop song. And we will also check out a slight difference between the, the studio version of the song and the way he's playing the Gitter solo live. So keep watching till the end. And if you're interested in sheet music, you can go to my Patreon page. There you can download the full transcription of the guitar solo, including tabs and regular notation. And if you want to support my channel, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, leave a like and drop me a line in the comments. The song is in the key of F major and it's a 16th shuffle groove and we're starting on the F on the 3rd fret of the D string. <laughs> This note is played three times, then we're going up to the to the fifth fret of the D string. And then we're doing a slide up to the seventh fret. And then we're picking the seventh fret again. So the, the first notes. After that we're doing a slide to the fifth fret of the G string. And then we're going up to the sixth fret of the B string. Then back to the 5th fret of the G string and then up to the 8th fret of the B string, which is played twice. Then one more time back down to the 5th fret of the G string. And then we're doing a whole tone bend on the 8th fret of the B string. And we're bending this note twice. So this part one more time. And then we're holding this band and we're adding our fourth finger on the ninth fret of the B string. We're picking the note again and then we're, we're removing the fourth finger. And then we're doing a, a re-band. So one more time this bending lick. After the re-band we're doing a pull off to the eighth, uh, sorry, to the sixth fret of the B string. Then down to the 7th fret of the G string and then one more time up to the 8th fret of the B string and then we're ending on the 6th fret of the B string. One more time. And the complete second phrase. After that, this, the, the fast run starts on the 11th fret of the A string. So we have the 11th fret of the A string doing a hammer on up to the 12th fret of the A string. Then 10th fret of the D string, 12th fret of the D string, and then 10th fret of the G string, 12th fret of the G string. Then we're going up to the 9th fret of the B string. And here we're doing a slide up to the 10th fret. Then the 13th fret of the B string down to the 10th fret again. Then the 11th fret of the B string. And up to the 13th fret of the B string again. So one more time. And now on the high E string, there's the there's the small difference I was talking about at the beginning of the of the video. In the studio version, he's playing the 10th fret and the 13th fret two times, ending on a whole tone band on the 13th fret. And in live versions I was listening to, he's also starting on the 9th fret of the E string, doing a slide up to the 10th fret. And then up to the 13th fret, down to the 10th fret again. And then he's doing the whole tune band on the 13th fret. So the difference is studio version and live version. So choose the one 
you prefer. I prefer the, the live version a little bit and that was the version I was playing at the beginning of this video. Then one more time the, the complete run, now with the, with the ending of the live version. And then we run this whole tone band on the 13th fret, we hold the band and pick the note one more time, then we release the band and pick the note twice. We're doing the whole tone band again, pick the note twice and then we're going back down to the to the release note. So one more time this banding lick. One more time. Then we're picking the 13th fret again and then we're going up to the 15th fret. So we have the 13th fret again, up to the 15th fret, down to the 13th fret again and then up to the 15th fret again. And then there's one more time a whole tone bend. And then one more time we're adding the fourth finger one fret higher. Remove the finger again, release the band, and then we're ending the solo on the on the 13th fret of the of the high E string. So one more time, this last lick. And one more time the complete ending starting with the run. This was the guitar solo of the song Rosanna by Toto, played by Steve Lukasse. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please hit subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, leave a like, drop me a line in the comments and I hope to see you next time. Bye.